It's time to check out Kalgoorlie Boulder. Our journey starts at Mundaring Weir. This was built to capture water for the gold fields over a century ago. It takes the water 11 days to travel hundreds of kilometres to Kalgoorlie. Luckily it won't take you that long and there's so much to see on the trail. Amazing silo art, quirky country pubs, historic buildings and magnificent museums. Oh, and one of the museums is even camera shaped. It's the largest private collection of working cameras in the Southern Hemisphere. Now how do I selfie with this? And you'll never feel lonely with the pipeline keeping your company the whole drive. And finally we're here, Kalgoorlie Boulder. And in 1903, this is the fountain that the water came out of. The world's biggest irrigation system was finally flowing and the town boomed. The whole gold fields actually was the prize at Federation. Whoever controlled the gold fields controlled the wealth of the country. 1903, 2.5 million ounces of gold. That's the highest anywhere ever. Would that fund a country? It literally funded Australia during the gold rush period. Where are we today? We are at the super pit. Yeah, this shovel, this digs out a lot of gold. When you see the scale of this in comparison to the smaller cars that are in the super pit, then you can see how big we're, we're talking about. A lot of machinery. If you love gossip, then Kalgoorlie Boulder has got it. There are so many good stories here. Like the legend of a forgotten painting discovered in the Boulder Town Hall. So if I wanted to buy that, what's it worth? It's literally priceless. This is one of the most amazing works of art. Philip Gocha, one of the world's greatest scenic set designers. And it turns out there's two curtains left. And this thing is valued the same as the Mona Lisa in that it's literally priceless. I love that Boulder was just like, what, this old thing? And then someone from Sydney comes over and goes, oh my goodness, priceless work. And as you head out into the streets, you'll find art in every direction, with fantastic murals all over town and the amazing Goldfields Art Centre, which showcases a wide variety of arts events and exhibitions all throughout the year. So Dels, what's happening on the walls and on the podiums in here? So the current exhibition we have on at the moment is the City Kalgoorlie Border Art Prize. Our top prize is 20 grand. Dels, did you know that I'm an artist now and I am entering? This is very exciting. Out here, the Goldfields is rich in Aboriginal culture, history and art. That's what art is, you know, it's, it's about telling stories and opening up the, the, the visions of people. You know, we call it the dreaming. You get the visions and then you put it onto canvas and you pass that information on. We put our stories on the back of the canvas to tell the, the, the key and the legend, which is basically just for people to learn about our culture and the actual picture itself. We tell the Dreamtime story, so the Guppy Bulka, we call it Guppy Bulka, which is big water. The water holes were created by the Rainbow Serpent back in the Dreamtime. That's why Aboriginal people don't get lost. The songs and the dances tell the story of to where, what location everything was. The songs are like Google Maps. Yeah, this that's exactly right. And we're eating as we're walking. It's a very big garden. <laughs> it's a huge garden. And if you know what you're looking for, so here we got the salt bush. So this is what you can eat. Just grab some off. Yeah, grab it off. You can cook this as well. So if you roasted it in the oven, yeah, taste it. See what it's like. Oh, it's, it's salty. It's salty. <laughs> That's why it's called a salt bush. <laughs> so there's heaps to do in Kalgoorlie Boulder, but it's definitely worth getting off the beaten track. Travelling down the road, you'll find yourself here at Lake Ballard, where 51 steel sculptures made by the artist Anthony Gormley have created the world's biggest art gallery. All of these sculptures are based on real people from the local area. Are you single? And at night, this becomes an incredible stargazing location. So come for the sculptures and stay for the stars. And heading north about 100 kilometres, you'll find yourself in one of Australia's most well-preserved ghost towns. Welcome to Gwalia. From gold mine to ghost town, this place went from over 1,000 to 40 people overnight. And today visitors can freely explore and experience what life was like during the early days of the gold rush. While you're in Gwalia, make sure you visit the museum precinct and the historic Hoover House. This beautiful homestead was designed by the first mining manager, Herbert Hoover, who went on to become the President of the United States. You can even stay here and tell everyone you slept in the President's bed. And use the President's can. Heading back through Kalgoorlie Boulder, I thought I'd ask the locals what they love about it. What would surprise people about Kalgoorlie Boulder? How amazing my mum is. What do you think the gold in Kalgoorlie is? Friendships. 
the people that you meet in Kalgoorlie are just, they become friends for life. We've got so much sport, we've got so much art, we've got so many crafts. Like, if you've got a special interest, if you start it, people will support it. What do you think's a bit gold about Kalgoorlie? I think the diversity, yeah. My favourite thing, it's kind of like a fun fact, is once upon a time, the streets of Kalgoorlie were actually paved with gold. Actually. Uh, if you could give Kalgoorlie Boulder a tagline, what would it be? Home of the Golgola, the silky pear which Kalgoorlie is named after. Thanks for having me, Kalgoorlie Boulder. You're worth your weight in gold.